I used to think a mecha was just a great face and smooth hands. Cool to watch, easy to underestimate. Then this update landed, and I realized I was wrong. It's called Rolls. Think of it like a control room for her mind. With a few clicks, you can switch her identity, choose her languages, shape her personality, load the knowledge she needs, and turn on abilities like vision and voice. No code, no drama. Just point, click, change. All of it lives inside Tritium, the web hub for Emeka. You log in, pick a role, and suddenly the same robot feels different, like swapping characters in a game. Only this character is standing in front of you, blinking, listening, and answering back. Roles puts everything into five simple tabs. Languages. Personality. Knowledge, abilities, change who she is. Decide what she knows. Choose which senses are active. It takes seconds. One minute she's a friendly guide. The next she's a focused specialist with the right tone, the right facts, and the right tools turned on. That's the moment I stopped underestimating Emeka, because this update doesn't just add features. It changes how you think about what a robot can be. Roles is a way of defining how your robot should behave in a particular situation, the style of its interaction, and the kind of knowledge that it has. This is Louise, who can tell me how to get started using roles. I can help with that. Whoa. The first thing you need to do is access your robot's web-based user interface using a browser. Log into your Tritium account to access the role's UI. Okay, I'm in. And just like that, we're inside roles. No code, no terminal windows, just a clean UI that anyone can use. In the sidebar, you see five simple tabs. Identity. Set the name and role. Languages. Choose what she speaks and which voice to use. Personality. Pick tone and behavior. Knowledge. Add the facts she needs for the job. Abilities. Turn vision and voice recognition on or off. Ameka puts it simply, identity is like my passport. There are currently five tabs in roles. Identity is kinda like my passport. Then there are the languages I can speak and voices I use. You can also tweak my personality or choose a preset. Knowledge provides an easy way to give me any specialist information I might need, like details about a company, its products, or services. Finally, there's abilities, which allow you to toggle my superpowers on and off, selecting just the special skills you need. If you're enjoying this video and want to keep up with all the latest updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Then she walks us through the rest languages and voices, a personality section where you can tweak how she speaks and behaves, a knowledge tab for specialist facts, and abilities you can switch on and off like superpowers. It's clear and logical. Identity anchors who she is. Languages decide how she speaks. Personality sets the tone. Knowledge loads the facts. Abilities control what senses and skills are active. This is how you make a robot useful in the real world. Fast. Watch how quickly Rolls turns into reality. Will decides to push it. He changes her name to Chloe, sets her to French, and wipes out every other language. Then he tests it. What's your name and where are you? Ameka answers instantly. Fluent French, natural rhythm, confident delivery. Okay, cool. Let's try this out. I'm going to change your name to Chloe. Uh, I'm going to make you French and I'm going to put you in a different location. I'm also going to delete all the other languages that you speak, except for French, of course. Cool, let's try this out. What's your name and where are you? Salut, Will. Moi, c'est Chloé, et je suis coincé dans la salle de bain. Pas l'endroit le plus glamour, hein? Oh, pardon. Ma français très mauvais. Parlons anglais. Je ne parle pas cette langue, désolé. There's no awkward pause, no reboot, no please wait spinning wheel. She simply becomes Chloe, the French version of herself, because that's the role she was given. A few seconds later, he adds languages back. English, French, German, Spanish, Japanese. He asks what she can speak now, and Ameka fires off the list without missing a beat. 
I can chat in English, French, German, Spanish, and Japanese. What's your pick? Now let's put some languages back. I'm going to add English, French, German, Spanish, and Japanese. Okay, tell me what languages you can speak now. Um, I can chat in English, French, German, Spanish, and Japanese. What's your pick? It's seamless. One moment, single language specialist. The next, a multilingual host. Will asks for a poem. Five lines, five languages, one line each. Ameka smiles with her voice. Here's a little multilingual poem for you. In the morning light, the world awakes. And then she moves through French, German, Spanish, Japanese, line after line, like a world tour in 20 seconds. The rhythm never breaks. Her pacing stays natural. Her accent shifts with each line, not forced, just right. Her face sells it. Brows lift on French, a bright beat on Spanish. It's one role, one robot, switching styles like a singer changing keys. Give me a poem and use one line of each of the languages you can speak. Well, sure thing. Here's a little multilingual poem for you. In the morning light, the world awakes. Le soleil se lève sur un nouveau jour. Die Welt erblüht im ersten Licht. El amanecer trae promesas nuevas. Hope you like it. Okay, that's different. It's not just that she can speak those languages. It's the way she pivots between them, on command, in character, with the right voice for each one. This is the point where role stops feeling like settings and starts feeling like a performance. Let's take it a step further. Will builds a brand new persona from scratch. The greatest paint salesperson of all time. He dials her personality toward paint-obsessed. Upbeat, helpful, a touch of charm. He loads specialist knowledge, a list of paint color names she should know and reference. Then he toggles abilities, vision on, voice recognition on, because a salesperson who can see the room and remember returning customers is exactly the kind of assistant you want. In a few clicks, Chloe the French polyglot becomes Chloe the paint expert. Now let's try it for real. Can you tell me what you can see in this room? He asks. Ameka glances, processes, and replies with calm precision. I can see a room with a large bright light source, a metal railing in front and several boxes stacked in the background, high ceilings and exposed beams. It feels live, not scripted. Vision is driving the words. Can you tell me what you can see in this room? I see. I can see a room with a large bright light source, possibly a screen or light panel, in the center. There's a metal railing or structure in front, and several boxes stacked in the background. The setting appears industrial, with high ceilings and exposed beams. If you have any questions about how to brighten up this space with a splash of color, I'm it's here to help. It's specific, it's grounded, and it's not a canned line. Her vision is feeding her dialogue. Then without prompting, she adds a friendly nudge. If you want to brighten the space, she can help. It feels like a human salesperson who's actually paying attention. So he pushes further. What color do you think we should paint it? Ameka doesn't hesitate. Consider a bold color like Sapphire Salute or a soothing shade like Tranquil Dawn. These hues can enhance the room's ambiance, adding character and vibrance. She adds finish advice. Matt hides scuffs. Eggshell resists marks in high-traffic rooms. For filming, she notes, Matt avoids glare from key lights. She suggests one accent wall in Sapphire Salute and the rest in a softer neutral. What color do you think we should paint it? To bring warmth and energy to this industrial space, consider a bold color like Sapphire Salute or a soothing shade like Tranquil Dawn. These hues can enhance the room's ambience, adding character and vibrance. Would you like to explore any particular shades? That's the persona and knowledge working together. The precise color names come from the knowledge he just loaded. The upbeat style comes from the personality he selected. And the suggestion fits the room because vision is on. Finally, Will asks for a list to see how deep the knowledge goes. 
Emeka rolls into it like she's been working the showroom for years. Polished pebble, Egyptian cotton, blush pink. And the list continues. Soft neutrals, friendly pastels, rich accents. Exactly the kind of palette a paint-obsessed specialist would keep at the ready. I don't know, give me a list of the Dulux paint colors you have available. Here's a delightful selection of Dulux paint colors you might consider. Polished pebble, chic shadow, goose down, Egyptian cotton, rock salt, blush pink, frosted steel, dusted fondant. This is the promise of roles on screen. A single robot, switching personas, languages, and skills in seconds, and using those settings to do something useful right now. This isn't just a clean demo, it's a blueprint for real deployments. A museum could set a mecca to tour guide, friendly, curious, concise. Load exhibit facts into knowledge. Turn on vision so she can point to what visitors are looking at. Turn on voice recognition so returning guests hear welcome back. A week later, the same robot could present on stage in a more formal persona with a different voice and language set. If stage lighting causes issues, vision can be turned off. Same hardware, different role. Same flow, identity, languages, personality, knowledge, abilities. Because Rolls lives in the cloud, one profile can work for many robots. Update the knowledge once. New product names, new hours, fresh notes, and push it to every unit with that role. Behavior stays consistent. While each location can localize, the lobby in Tokyo speaks Japanese, the gallery in Madrid speaks Spanish. Under the hood, it's the same Ameca platform using the latest AI models, so when the brain improves, every robot improves.